Hi Church, my name's Paula and I'm one of the area pastors um, at our Central Manchester uh, campus. Um, and I've been asked to share with you today um, a proverb that has really spoken to me. Um, and I'd like to share about Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19. Um, it's not an obvious one you would think of when you think of favourite proverbs, um, but it's definitely one that has spoken to me. Um, and essentially it's talking about um, seven things that the Lord hates. Um, so it starts off in verse 16, there are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. So this is seven things that God hates. Um, and we can learn more about God by learning things that he loves and things that he hates. Just like when you're first dating someone, how you learn about, th about them is by things that they like, things they don't like. Um, whenever you meet anybody, you would talk about things that you like, interests, things that interest you, things that you know you really love. They're the things that you would talk about. And through this passage, we can become closer to God and learn more about him. Um, because God is a good and loving God, he doesn't want us to do anything that would hurt, cause hurt to us or to others. Um, and also because um, I, I'm a Christian and I have a, a relationship with Jesus, I don't want to do anything um, that is going to bring him you know, not that isn't going to bring him pleasure and that is not according to his will. Um, and so I'm going to really try and live my life in a way that, you know, is the opposite of those things on that list. Um, so this list could be seen as a list of things we can't do. However, if we um, use this passage as a way of reflecting on our own hearts and really um, we can examine how we live our lives and whether we're living in a way that brings um, displeasure to him um, or pleasure. And I certainly know that this um, has challenged me. Um, but we can also turn this passage around and look at the opposites. If God hates these seven things, then he certainly loves the opposite of them. So a humble heart, an honest tongue, hands that help the innocent and helpless, a heart that plans great things, feet that run to do good, a true witness, and one who builds peace and unity. So church, let's um, ask God to refine us and help us become more like Jesus as we focus on living lives that are pleasing to him. Um, and the fruit of living this way is that we will also become a blessing to others as we bring more peace and more unity and as we put these things into, into action in our, in our lives. So church, let's pray and, um, and, uh, and just, just ask God to kind of really bring alive this passage to us this week. Yeah, Jesus, we thank you um, that you love us. We thank you that, um, that you've revealed something of yourself in this passage to us. And Lord, I just pray that you would um, help us to be refined and to grow in you through this passage and um, Lord and just if you would just illuminate in us if there's any areas in our lives that displease you and Lord help us to um, by guiding us um, in ways that we can we can do those things which you love Lord help us have the strength and the courage to do those things um, and to help others and to bring unity um, Lord, in the people around us and with people around us, and let us help the helpless and the innocent, Lord. And um, Lord, I just ask that as we go about our week, that you would, and, and about our day, that you would really just be with us, that you would pour out your Holy Spirit on us right now. And um, Lord, we thank you that you are a good and loving God. Amen. Church, thank you for sharing this few minutes with me and have a great day.